Hey, what is up guys? My name is Josiah and welcome back to another edition of my Modern House tutorial series. Now today I'll be building a fairly large house that features a cozy two floor design and comes with a unique little balcony that sits above the garage area. So without any further ado, let's get right into building it. Now first up, we'll lay out the dimensions of the house. So let's begin by laying out an 18 long by 7 wide rectangle of oak planks. Then at the front right corner of this is built an L shape of oak planks that goes out 5 blocks to the front and 6 blocks to the left. And now we can build up all these oak planks to a total height of 7 blocks so we have the walls of the house. Next we can replace all the grass within these oak walls with quartz blocks for the first floor and then also adding quartz blocks along the fourth block up for the second floor. Then lastly to finish up the oak walls, let's fill in the left side of this L-shaped section for the second level only. Next up, we'll build a garage and balcony area at the front of the house. So let's start by building a quartz wall along the side of this oak wall at the right that is 6 blocks long and 4 blocks tall. Then go over 7 blocks to the left of this and add another one of these quartz walls here. Now we can add in a garage door between these walls by adding in horizontally placed quartz pillar blocks and a block from the end and make it 3 blocks tall. Then let's place in four stone buttons across the middle of these quartz pillars. And now behind this garage door we can replace the grass with stone blocks for the flooring. Then we can fill in the top layer of these walls with more quartz blocks to close off the garage ceiling. Next we'll add a grey concrete wall above the garage that extends over to the back of the house. So at this corner above the garage, extend out two blocks of grey concrete and then extend it over to the left so it is seven blocks long and connects back up with the oak wall.
and then we can build this gray concrete up to a height of five blocks. Next, come to the back of the house and build the same wall at ground level that is parallel to the front one, but goes up 9 blocks this time to match the height of it. Then with the walls up at the front and back of the house, we can now connect them together by extending the top layer of concrete across the house. Next, let's go under this concrete roof and remove the sections of oak walls on the second floor that are in line with the concrete walls we just made. And also, if we go down to the first floor, we can remove the oak walls that are in line with the concrete as well, but only for this back wall and not the front. So then with these oak walls removed, we can next replace or add floors of quartz blocks in the gaps where the walls were. Next up, with the garage and concrete walls in place, we can then add in the roof. So we can do that by simply adding quartz blocks over the oak walls that also extend past the sides of them by a block. Then we'll wrap a quartz frame around the second level of the house, so at the fourth block up or from the top of the garage, add a layer of quartz blocks around the building. And now at the front right and back right corners, let's extend down two quartz columns from the frame to the ground level.
Also, if we come over to the left side of the house, let's make a wall of quartz blocks that extends from the roof down to the frame. And then above this quartz frame, let's add an upside down quartz stairs around the house, which will act as a balcony railing above the garage and a decorative trim for the rest of the house. Next up, we'll add in the doors and windows to the house. So starting at the front left side, let's add in a double oak door into this oak wall. Then up on top of the garage, let's add in one of these doors at the side of the oak wall at the right for the balcony entrance. Then we'll add in the windows to the house. So above the front door, let's add in a 2x2 window of black stained glass panes with trapdoors on the sides. And then at the top right wall, let's also add in one of these 2x2 windows with trapdoors. Now as for the rest of the windows, simply follow along as to where I place each one and I'll be showing the dimensions of them on screen. Next with the windows in place, we'll then add in the driveway and other decorative features to the house. So let's start at the front left corner and place out 10 quartz blocks into the ground. And then let's add in more blocks of quartz so they connect around to the right side of the garage wall. And now in between this border of quartz, we can replace the grass with grey concrete blocks. So once the driveway is complete, let's then place in leaf blocks around the house in front of all the oak walls for some bushes.
And lastly, if you would like, we can add in some flowers in front of the bushes at the front. Now as for what you want in the interior, I'll leave that entirely up to you guys, but as always, I'll quickly show you how I decorated mine as an example. But that is going to be all for this Modern House tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. As always, I'd love to hear all your feedback. And don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed as that would be much appreciated. And with that said, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Later guys, bye bye.